Good morning, friend. Glad again to be in your space. Yesterday, we started the series Living Life. We're going to continue the series. Our test remains the same Luke 6 26 to 36, and I'd like you to read it on your own from different translations of, of version of the Bible. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful to you for your faithfulness. Thank you for who you are, and thank you for who you will continue to be. Glory to your name. Today, please speak to us again. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Friends, I remember a story. One of my friends told us this story. Now, I don't know if it's a folk tale or a true life story, but a friend told me. He said, when they were in the university, there is a guy, every time when he wants to pray, he will pray, oh God, give me a lean. I want a lean. I say, why? God, give me a lean. A lean is best for me. So somebody was asking him one day, why do you want a lean? Only a lean. Why not just ask God for his will? So you know that you is God will for him. He said, why? He said, because he always wants a slim girl. And a lean is slim. Once a girl that is in choir, a lean is in choir. Once a girl that is very brilliant, a lean is very brilliant. So, but as God will have it, O oh, merciful God that he is, he refused to give him a lean. So, many years after, like 10, 15 years, I'm not very sure, but many years after, like he told us, he said the guy now married with his own family, now went to a place from the um, work, uh, uh, work visit. And when he got there, a lady smiled graciously at him and waved at him and greeted him so warmly. And I was wondering, ah, where, does, where do I know this lady from and all that? So the lady realized he wasn't greeting as warmly as expected. So the lady walked up to him and said, oh, It's like you didn't remember. He said, No, please, not mention her name. I'm Ellen, so so and so. Formerly Ellen, so so and so. Say, so he opened his mouth. The lady did not know that the, the astonishment is not in the meeting her, but in the fact that Elin is now very fat. Elin is no longer slim. But he was always wishing for Elin because Elin was slim. Friends, many times we pray to God, trying to have our way. But thank God that He's a loving Father, He does not always answer us. In Numbers 22, we have a story that looked like, give me a lean. A man called Balak, the Bible recalls that he sent for a prophet called Balak. And when Balak sent for Balak, Balak asked God, God, should I go? And God told Balak, don't go. I am not sending you there. But the Bible recalls that if you read it, from verse 10. Numbers 22 from verse 10 through to 20. If you read from 10 to 14, you see the story. He told them, said, no, I'm not going to go. Even if your king come and give me the whole world, I will not follow because God said I should not follow. Friends, the king sent back message to him, a greater ministry than the first one. And he said to him, I will give you this and that. I will fill the house for you. I will do this and that. He went back to God. Say, God, hey, this guy want me to come now. Please let me go. Let me go. And you know the story. God now told him go. I pray that God will not give you a go because of your pressure. I pray that God will insist on ensuring you follow His will. A lot of people are in their will, not in the will of God, and that has kept them from purpose. Balaam died unfulfilled. He died committing suicide. A great prophet, but because of the things that he saw, because of the things his life wanted, because of those things, he decided to pressure God to let him go on an errand that does not glorify God. I'm praying for everyone listening to me that the Lord will keep you from pressuring him to permissive will. But may the will of God the true will of God be established in your life. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.